All right, guys, your World Comics here. After beating Star Ocean, or at least Claude's story of Star Ocean, it's time to take a, a long break, a bit of a break from Star Ocean, and play another game that I really wanted to play. We wanted to show you guys, because uh, it's very nostalgic for me. It was the one that at least got me interested in the RPGs on the PlayStation. That's Breath of Fire 3. Let's go. Is that the right one? Is that the right stuff? Is that normal? I don't I can use my mouse for that. Load it. No load it. Just, just go. Right. So I was loading. Yeah, by Capcom. Mm, Capcom made some awesome games. Awesome games that were not Street Fighter a long time ago. I really hope they do that again. It would be really nice. Yeah, Breath of Fire. Three Breath of Fire Three showing off different things from other Breath of Fire games by the looks of it. Yeah, you know, I've, when I played Breath of Fire Three, I didn't realize that there were other games before Breath of Fire Three. You know, that they were just references to it. But here we are. I can't show you the music. I can't have the music playing, but it is amazing music. It's the best music I ever heard in my life. So yeah, uh, still I work on our. Uh, Space bar? Space bar? Space bar. Alright. So we're going to stick with uh, Ryu, I think. Looks like Hero. Nine Hero. Hero of the Ice. I think, yes. Ryu, dang it. Alright, fine. We'll use Ryu. Medium. Background's good. Auto run off. Button configuration. Good. This is just accept. Space is accept for now. I don't know why that is. Look, I get the mouse out of the way there. And also, I'm a little congested, so yeah. Let's so see if you hear that. Sorry, you know, I just want to let you know that about that. That's why that goes. Like Mogu's like, okay, explosives are set. Like Gary is like, well, what is this? An egg or something? You know, it looks like it. You see ones like these every now, every so often. Well, I'll be. Come on, let's get to work already. Mm. We'll use this very complicated, very easy to fail mm, system here. You'll see right now that could totally fail easily. Yeah. Explodes causes more explosion. I mean, causes fuses to fly over to the other thing. No, I mean, they wouldn't do that. No, yeah, that could fail. What if the fuses miss? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, yeah, no. it does look spectacular though. But no. And you got some awesome 3D effects over here, too. Mm. You know, this game is definitely a pretty awesome game mm, in its own right. And the dragon is awake. He's like, what? Oh, no. Uh, well, what, is, what the? It's still alive. Mm. Well, whoa. Uh, I'll just attack it. <laughs> that, will go, that won't cause any problems. <laughs> and right, we have our first fight, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I could just use uh, your play as a whelp. I can use a uh, straight up attack, so I'll do it. And attack uh, Mogu, the guy who attacked us. Mm, get out of here. Attack Mogu. Mm. He, he hit us. Mm. Mogu attacks back, causing, unfortunately, a reprisal. You know, he, he uses whelp breath and burns the heck out of Mogu and Gary. Mm, you know, the issue is they look dead. They're not dead. Mm, you know, you see them later. Mm, like hours and hours later, you see them. That's what they say, really, and truly. Mm -hmm. They say that. And now I'm walking around as the dragon, using you know, my keyboard controls, and I can do this. And this is a very important thing to do uh, throughout the game is examine things. And especially in that, you know, right at the beginning of the game, there are, uh, there's a uh, master. There's masters in this game. And one of the masters, he's not moving. Mm -hmm. He's alive. He's just horribly burned, that's all. You found Melted Blade. Okay, so that's the issue. When you talk to him again, no response. Yes, he's horribly burned. He's, he's alive, though. He's horribly burned. So you walk around. And what happens is you, there are masters in this game. And the, each master in this game has its own, has their own requirements. Mm. His or own, her own special requirements. You know, so it's like yeah, one master will be like, you have to give me all your money. Mm. You'll see that eventually. You have to... Pretty cool. Yeah, it's 3D. There are some 3D things in here. The character is 2D. You know, they, 
there's 3D stuff in here. That the crystals 3D, the, the environment's a bit 3D. It's pretty awesome to see how that how they they were able to mix things together like that. It's nice. Anyway, so uh, yeah, basically, you see all this stuff, and one of the masters says you need to have bunches of weapons, or at least 15 kinds of weapons. I think it's 15, and the gold. Uh, the, the dragon. Uh, alive. Are you really a dragon? It was like, I can say yes, I can say no. We're, gonna, we're not gonna lie. We're gonna say the truth. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. It's like, it's like dragon. If you said no, you, you, you. What you say sounds like a uh, dragon roar. Mm. So it's like, oh, dragon. <laughs> yeah. and you can fight some more enemies if you want to. But, uh, four or more characters if you want to. But uh, sure, it's noisy out there. Sure, it's noisy out there. What's going on? Mm. Yeah. He's mining, doing his daily stuff. Reminds you of that. Mining daily stuff. Ah, I'm not afraid. Let's get it. So, like, you have another battle. You can uh, attack one. You, like, attack it. It's like, ow. Ugh. I have my pickaxe. He's like, well, breath. <laughs> it loves a reprisal, and it will automatically, whenever something is re reprises, that's well, breath. That'll basically, not well, breath. Whenever something is, uh, re you know, gets hit, they have a chance of a counter hit or a reprisal, you know, that's going to be well, breath. Spells burnt. Yeah, yeah, he burned him with well, breath. Mm. Looks like he's dead. Mm. It might not be, so yeah. And there's enemies down here. There's a there's a lot of guys down here too, if you want to fight them. I don't think there's anything down there though, mm. other than two and more enemies to fight. Though it does, it is kind of interesting though. <coughs> Whoa! What are you? Some kind of ghost? No. Mm. It's a monster. Mm. Good to fight. Attack. Mm. You fight him, and they think throw stuff at you. You burn them. You win. My goodness, this game is so nostalgic. Oh, you day out. Mommy! <laughs> yeah. Not much, in, yeah, there's not much going on other than fights at this point. But, that's what you do. Does it, does it hurt me? <laughs> You don't want to eat me. I don't taste good. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, I think, uh, I think I went more fight on something. Oh. Well, there's a scared person over here. I don't think it's an achievement for any of this. Don't, don't eat me. Don't, don't breathe fire with me. I don't think there's an achievement or anything, but it is nice to world build by checking, by examining everyone, <laughs> by talking to a lot of stuff. They do actually acknowledge you know, it if you examine a lot, a lot of stuff, though, the right stuff. We're gods. We're dude. I knew we shouldn't be digging up dead bodies. We're gods. We're dudes, he says. Yeah. Well, that stuff. What? What's that? One of his babies. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody, help! Okay, well, this dragon that you're digging inside of his babies. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It's the uh, yeah. It's nothing over here. No, I don't think so. Ah, see, that's just a platform there. Platform over there. This platform over here. Yeah, there's not much over here. No. Yeah, you don't really get many items at first. Yeah. 
So I'm going to say see you guys next time checking me out on YouTube with DeviantArch. When we get on to the next part of this story.